everybody. Good afternoon. This is kind of an update on uh, other video that I did. It was about turpentine. About turpentine being the... Uh, comes from the trees of the Lord. Because the trees of the Lord in Psalms 104, 16 says that the trees of the Lord are full of sap. Okay. So this is just... <laughs> So, and I did make a video of that before, and because I looked up the word sap on entomology, and sap means nectar. So that was, you know, it's been a little while, and today, I was just told, you know, how it pops into your mind like it does. I was told to look up the word nectar, because, you know... Oh, okay. Also, I looked up the word nectar on entomology. And I'll just read that to you. I wrote it down here. Nectar. It's from 1550s. From Latin, nectar, N-E-C-T-A-R. From the Greek, nectar, N-E-K-T-A-R. And the meaning of it is, name of the drink of the gods, small g gods which is said to be a compound of nec, N-E-K, which means death, from the pi root, nec, death, plus tar, T-A-R, which means overcoming, to pass through, to overcome, meaning sweet liquid and flowers, first recorded in the 16th century. So I was thinking, wow, you know, that's pretty cool that, you know, the trees of the Lord are full of sap, full of nectar, and that's what nectar means, and it's the drink of small g gods and all of that, you know, it's just like, wow, just like blowing my mind thinking about it. And uh, so then I'm thinking, well, well, what can you connect that to spiritually then to kind of, because, you know, if there's something, so I was thinking, you know, well, what all I can think of is the tree of life, which the Bible tells us, that our names that are who are saved by Jesus's blood and who overcame are our names are written on the book of life but all of our were grafted into the tree of life you know our names are on the tree or something we're grafted into the tree of life which to be grafted into the tree of life you know that's in the spiritual so the tree of life in the spiritual could it be that in the physical down here that what resembles the spiritual because there's two you know there's the whole spiritual realm and anything that happens down here has to happen in the spiritual first before it can manifest in the physical so it's like you know I don't know that's just how it is I guess you know and uh, so the maybe the tree of life that's up in heaven the pine tree down here resembles that because it's the trees, trees of the Lord, you know. And uh, so I was thinking, because turpentine kills parasites. It kills all parasites and worms and stuff in your body, you know. And there's a lot of stuff, research that I did, because the Lord told me that, that you know, when I was thinking about parasites, and he told me to, well, look up parasites or demons or, you know, what are so I looked that up and sure enough I'm watching stuff where they have like these parasites under a microscope and you know as soon as the parasite died it just goes poof and it was it was gone and like it evaporated and they're like well we don't know how that happened you know we don't know how that can be how it just can well I know how it can be because if the parasites are demons when the <laughs> when the parasite dies the demons got to go too so then poof it's gone you know, so, because it just disappeared, so that, the parasites, I guess my point that I was making with that was, no, the parasites would be, at least some of the demons, you know, the parasites would be the demons in their physical form down here in our body, and the demons in the spiritual are, you know, you know what they are, but you know they're shapeshifters, they can turn into anything they want. So it would make sense that the trees of the Lord that are full of sap 
which means nectar, which means the drink of the small g gods, which nectar means basically overcoming death, and it kills parasites, which are demons <laughs> also. So, I don't know. You know, I just... Uh, <laughs> you guys let me know because it's pretty cool how all of that stuff lined up right there with the Bible and with entomology because all these definitions that I look up are on entomology it's a study of words you know what words meant between 600 and 2000 years ago in the era of when the Bible and everything was written you know a lot of times the words with the new translations and stuff they just change everything so you really have to look up to see what stuff means even though we think we knows what it means but anyhow uh just wanted to share that with you guys this afternoon kind of cool so i will talk to you guys later see you love you bye